Hello there and good evening and welcome to, to my computer. This is Christian and I'm playing around with Fusion 360. Today I'm trying to do this uh, hyper journey water planting of this part of the bigger part. We are stackable like this around and I will not do the ribs or the lip here. I will focus on this shape that cuts through this cylinder, which is this is, this is a smaller cylinder cutting through a lot cylinder, so I'm going to focus on doing that, so let's head with the fusion. We're going to start a sketch on our plane here, so we're looking from the top. I will start with a center point arc, let's start from the center point and just do an arc out here. We will do some lines from here to here and out to here. And then the important line, I'm going to see if I can find the midpoint where the triangle is from here, straight up to here tell fusion that I want that line to be horizontal and I want all these lines to be construction lines and we can start doing some dimensions uh, in the picture there are 12 of these so there's two 12 so this section here needs to be 360 divided by 12 and I'm going to give it a dimension any of the lines which are the radius of the circle uh, let's do it 100 new to 250. Let's open our sketch browser and you have a check that we have a lock so we have a fully defined sketch so far. Now we're going to make a line. This line is where the plane, the center of the plane is going to be which we are going to create the small cylinder. So I'm going to make a line here straight over. Make sure I hit here. It becomes perpendicular. That's good. This means it can move up and down if I can move it but it wants to not fly away. So we're going to give this a dimension. This is going to be the outer diameter of the small cylinder. Oh no, yeah, you have a small cylinder cutting through the large one. I will do it 70 millimeters. You have to adapt this to what you want to do. I will just add one thing here. If you want to do this on a flat surface, I'm going to make this on a bigger cylinder shape or arc shape here. Just do a straight line and do. A, you can work from that. We're going to finish sketch. Be what? Have a look at this. What's it look like? Yeah, the boring lines. Now we're going to create construct a plane at angles. Select what is the line I have. So we need to create the plane that we are running our small cylinder for. I'm not going to think I'm going to do it 30 degrees. Is that the right direction? Yeah, it's tilting outwards. Let's do it 30, 30 degrees. Like that. We're going to create a sketch on a newly created plane. I will project in, hit P on the keyboard, projecting this line so I can maintain the dimension. Going to turn off my first sketch and hide it. Turn it into construction line, do a circle from here to here. So this is the outer diameter of a cut through. And we need a hole in the middle to put a plant in, or like I would have done a similar shape earlier, but just for a lamp. Let's do a 35 millimeter. So that's going to be the cutout hole later. Uh, let's turn our sketches and have a look. Yeah, it's like an angle that looks good. And everything is connected. So we're going to finish sketch. And now we're going to start doing some extrudes. We're going to head over to the surface tab. We're working with surfaces as this is going to be a part with a basically constant thickness. It's simpler to work in surfaces. You can do this in solid, I think, but it's going to take a long time to create all the fillers and stuff. Extrude, surface extrude. Let's do that symmetric as we're going to use do it on both sides. I'm just going to do it one on a 50 millimeter so we can go back and change that later if it gets too much. Now we're going to extrude on this circle here. The outer circle, we once again tell it to be symmetric. We're going to cut it later, this one. Uh, let's do it 100. So it goes, it needs to be protruding outside and inside of the larger cylinder we have. We're going to do like that. Now we're going to do some stuck cutting. That's why I went made this to one big part. I need to do some trimming. Select the small cylinder as my trim tool. And remove the mid part. So now we got a hole nicely. Uh, a bit strange ellipse on this case as we have a cylinder cylinder. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, now we need to do some trimming on this thing but we can't trim it like it is. We need to split this in two parts. We're gonna do, uh, we can hit over to the solid tab and use split body. This body, the splitting tool is gonna be the plane we constructed earlier like that and hit OK. And by that we can 
minimize that again and now we go back to surface and trim again now we're going to use our big cylinder here click on that as a tool and we're going to remove this upper part here and the lower part here and hit ok you started to see we started to get the shape we want and now we need to fill in the part here we do that with the patch here and hit ok and let's open our surf bodies we have four bodies now we're gonna hide the sketches you see enough of those that looks good so we're going to select all our bodies and do a stitch see if that works now we're down to one surface and before we add any thickness or anything we're going to do our fillets and we're going to do it on this line this uh, this edge and uh, this edge and so let's do it five millimeters that look like yeah we can even do it more we can do 10. Uh, that's a quite close to the hole let's do it eight that's somewhere in the middle uh tangent or curvature should also work curvature gives you it follows uh, yeah if you don't know surfaces i'm not good enough at all this curvature thing but uh tangent curvature in this case gives you a bit more narrow neck in here or tangent gives you a bit softer it's not that big difference and by that we're gonna hit okay now we have what you might call our basic shape and we're gonna now thicken this as we're in a symmetrical whole face, we're going to select a whole of his body. And I'm going to do it symmetric again. And I'm going to give it one. If I add one millimeter, so one either it on each side. That's not too much. We just add it two. So it's going to be final thickness going to be four millimeters. Let's do that. Our surface body gets hi hi hidden. And we're going to hide the line for the faces a bit easier to see, I think. So this, let's put appearance on it. Uh, I like to use carbon fiber when i look at things my surface like this it gives a you see the carbon fiber gives you nice lines to look at things at what it looks like so here we have a small cylinder cutting through a larger cylinder there are some other things you can do you could do two constructions plane and make the lower one in a different so you can do this in one angle and this is one angle and so forth but i think you get the basic idea of how you can create this shape and we can of course go back and let's see we can do it without crashing quarter degrees no oh, that's too much so you can change the dimensions do 25 instead yeah that works a bit more vertical orientation so feel feel free play around with this of course now you have to mirror it and other things but i think this is the fun part and i like to share fun workflows or fun geometry Feel free to use these and I hope it's you can use it for something with that. Take care, see you around and goodbye.